on today's video is about when you get into an argument for the first time. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo always thought about you first before yelling or making his voice louder because he knew how you get scared of him and he didn't want you to get scared at all. He wanted you to feel safe with him all the time. And so, he tried to be as quiet as possible most of the time. So when he did raise his voice just a little bit at you because you both were fighting, he felt so guilty. He just wanted to, to go and hug you. And he tried not to raise his voice again. And he was successful for about two or three months. But then on the third month, something happened that made him lose control. He saw you hugging a boy. And look, it was going to be just a little bit okay. And he wouldn't have gotten that mad if it wasn't Midoriya. Okay? His enemy was Deku. And you knew it. But still, you would go behind his back, hug his enemy. Just... Just why? Were you cheating on him? With Midoriya? Oh my god. That would be the worst. You could go cheat on him on anyone else. And yes, he'd still be mad and all. And he would break up with you and all. But... With Deku of all people... No, no, no. He's not gonna only break up with you, but he's gonna kill you and Deku. So at the time, he texted you and told you that he wants you in his dorm tonight. And you agreed, telling him that you're gonna bring some snacks. Thinking that you, both as usual, would go and watch some movies in his dorm. But you really didn't know what was about to happen. Poor you... So when you got in his dorm, you saw that he was sitting in there, with a grumpy expression on. Oh, hey baby. What happened? Did someone fight with you again? Were they your parents? Just shut up. Um, you really don't want me to talk, huh? Okay. Tell me, just what happened. Why were you hugging him? Hugging who? Oh, you're gonna act all innocent right now, huh? Why? We're hugging Deku. I... I... It wasn't that bad, okay? I wasn't cheating on you or anything. I... I just... Look. I really wasn't cheating on you, I promise you. Me and Deku, or Midoriya, sorry, I don't like that name. Me and Midoriya are good friends and all, and he helped me get good grades. Which is why I hugged him today, you know, because of the test that we had. Oh, really? Do you think you're gonna pull that off? Just don't lie. Tell me the truth, Wyan. I promise I'm telling you the truth. I don't think so. But I do. I do, okay? I know that I'm telling you the truth. So please stop and believe me for once. Maybe if you stop being a slut and going around with boys, I would believe you. Being a what? A slut? And going around with boys? Do you know it's like the first time I've ever hugged a boy? Do you know that? Other than you, of course. Oh god. Katsuki, please don't make me get mad. I don't want to. I know we had a fight before. But if we do fight this time, I promise you it will be way worse. Maybe you can even break up, you know? <sighs> Why were you hugging up? I promise you what I told you was the truth. But I can't believe you like that, Wyan. No, not with what I saw. What did you see then? Me and Midori hugging? Was that what made you mad? Is it because you're insecure? What? I said, is it because you're insecure? Insecure of what, huh? Maybe he's stronger than you. Is that why you're always so mad at him? He slapped you on the face. Who do you think you are? Katsuki? Did you just... Yes, I did. 
Don't you ever talk to me like that again. Go outside. Right now. I needed to go outside. But with one thing in mind. You knew that she didn't want to talk to him anytime soon. Hey. Hey, Ryan. Are you alright? You didn't even notice that you passed out in the middle of going to the dorm until you woke up in your own dorm with Mina next to you. I saw you passed out and you had a red mark on your cheeks. Did something happen, sweetie? You never knew that Mina could be so caring and so sweet. No, nothing happened. Don't worry. Of course I'll worry, Wyan. Who hurt you? Did Baka go do that? No, 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 he didn't. He, he would never. I highly doubt that. But please tell me if you're not okay. Alright? I can go teach him a lesson too. <laughs> yeah. I think you need to. Well then, I'll get going. She kissed your forehead. I'll tell Ochako to go and get you some sweets, okay? You'll feel better soon. I promise you. And then she went to Bakugo's dorm, immediately knocking. But it wasn't as soft as she usually does. This time, she was mad. What do you want? What did you do to Wyan? Huh? Did you hurt them? Huh? Tell me. Respond. You freaking idiot. If this happens another time, I promise you, I'll kill you with my own hands. I'm not gonna wait for Wyan to do that. Alright? Apologize to them. Tomorrow. Because today they don't want to see your face. And I'm sure of it. Now. I don't want to see your face either. Oh god. And then she went downstairs again. To tell Chaco. Now Bakugo was frozen on his doorway. You had told them? And oh god, he never felt so guilty. And he didn't even know about you passing out. So when tomorrow rolled in, you were already feeling better because of what the girls had done to you last night. And you went to school. But before you went to the entrance, Bakugo stood in front of you. What do you want? I'm so sorry, Juan. I'm really, really sorry. I apologize. I... I never meant to do that. If you do that again, I'll break up with you. Okay? This is a warning. And I promise you I'm not even joking. If it happens again, we're breaking up. Yeah? Alright. Fair. But still, you gotta do a lot of work to make me forgive you. Will do. And then he kissed you on your lips before quickly running into school. Oh, looks like I'll forgive him quickly. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye!